EIGRP stubs. Maybe it's just me, but it doesn't feel like the word stub should fit into a typical IT dictionary. I just envision an EIGRP boardroom presentation and they're going, okay, we've got the summary routes and the, you know, the, the bounding, the query messages, the design and the subnetting schemes and <clears throat> um, we're going to use uh, stubs. Um, I don't know. <laughs> It's just me. It doesn't fit. Anyway, uh, stubs are a powerful feature, but to understand them, you have to understand the EIGRP query message. See, a query message is used anytime EIGRP does not have a backup route, a feasible successor, to try and find an alternate path. So let's just say we've got our corporate office right here, a whole bunch of office, uh, a whole bunch of networks go here. I mean, maybe we've got VLANs, maybe other WAN links out here to other places, who knows? But let's just say one of those networks, 192.168.0.0, goes down. Well, if this router does not have a feasible successor, which gives you that boom, ninja fast failover, it's going to go into query mode. And query mode says send a message to all of your neighbors to find out if they have a backup route for the 192.168.0.0. Now, you and I, looking at this diagram, are like, uh, no, it doesn't. I mean, these are all maybe little spoke offices. Now, you might, I mean, you're looking at this, it looks like a laser light show. So you might say, well, I mean, what is this really? I mean, maybe this is uh, an insurance company. I've actually seen this design before where they have a large corporate office or, you know, maybe a couple big corporate offices, uh, and they have all of these small little strip mall uh, offices that they have for their customers that have like five, ten computers sitting in each one, right? Totally a uh, real world scheme that could happen. Well, sending out query messages to all these could be, you know, what is that? Seven of them? Uh, could be 700 of them. It just isn't good because the requirement of a, a query is that you receive a reply to every single one of them. Uh, so, this route, as soon as this uh, this route goes down, it goes into an active mode, meaning the router is actively trying to find a backup for that route. Queries go out. These guys then are required to send queries to all of their neighbors, which would be this guy, and he'd be required to send queries to all his neighbors, and who knows how far back this goes. Maybe there's another router here, a WAN link uh, to uh, Istanbul and, and Japan. And I mean, the query messages could go on and on and on forever unless we use the stub feature. The stub feature allows you to go in and mark certain devices as stub routers, meaning I am a dead end. I do not go anywhere, which if this were a strip mall uh, typical scenario would be ideal for all these guys because even, even if, uh, maybe these are little 128K links, even if we could, maybe this is one network, right? Even if we could fail over if this link were to go down, we wouldn't want to because we wouldn't want to slam our little offices uh, to come back here to try and get connectivity to a local network. You know what I mean? It just, it doesn't make sense. So what the stub feature does is allow these guys to introduce themselves during the neighbor relationship, as in you'll configure the stub over here as a stub. This guy's like, hey, um, <clears throat> my name is, uh, my, my name's router one, and I'm a stub, right? And all these guys are like, okay, great, thanks, thanks for sharing, and all these routers, you know, router two, router three, router three, they all introduce themselves as stubs, and that informs, we'll say, uh, let's just call them HQ, right? HQ router that these guys don't go anywhere. Right? These guys are just dead ends, uh, and how you configure this stub right here determines how they interact. By default, it, the, I mean, the command is very simple, E-I-G-R-P stub. There's not much more to it than that. By default, we'll go into connected and summary mode. What that does is say, router one, you are allowed to advertise your connected networks, right? This, this guy right here, uh, and any summary routes. Like if maybe we have a whole bunch of connected networks and we want to do a summary back to the corporate office, uh, then you can do that, but nothing else. Meaning, beating, uh, if, if uh, router one learned some routes from over here, right? Maybe here's, uh, here's you know, 50.110. I don't know why that's public, but we'll go with it. He learns that route from here. He is not allowed, because he's a stub, he's not allowed to send that because it's not a connected route, right? It's, it just happened to be a route that it received, and it's not a summary route, unless we summarize it but we wouldn't do that. So that's the default mode. Now you can say, I want this. You can uh, modify that stub word and type, type uh, EIGRP stub receive only. And it will then go into, you know what? I'm not going to advertise a thing. And that wouldn't use that very often, except you know specific environments. Cause this guy would need static routes then uh, to try and reach those guys. So he would just become a receiver of routes. You've got uh, static, which allows uh, this guy to send his static routes. If you're using redistribution uh, to the other side or redistribute. Re, re, I never can say that word right the first time. Redistribute. Re, redistribute. Um, so you could be running RIP over here and, you know, redistribute RIP routes into this. Uh, you could choose that if you'd like to do it. Let's, let's see this feature in action. It's pretty cool. 
Here's what I've got. I set up two routers, HQ and router one. Uh, over here is the 192.168.0.0/24 network. Uh, and that's about it. <laughs> so we need to get started. So I did pre-configure EIGRP to save us that time. Uh, let me just come in and verify everything. I'll do a show IP EIGRP neighbors. Uh, there's my neighbor. I'll do a show CDP neighbors, and I can see that is router one coming out on that interface. Do a quick show IP route. Uh, I can see that I've got a few networks coming over from router one, the 10. Uh, well, I'll just say 10.x networks uh, coming from over there. And I let me do a show IP interface brief as the HQ router just have you know basic little serial and uh, fast Ethernet network. So uh, let's let's do this. I'm going to come over to router one and do a debug. IP EIGRP. That will actually debug the events, which is really valuable because it'll show you what's going on without hello messages. So uh, you don't get flooded there. So I'm going to come over to the headquarters side of things and I'm going to kill this network. Shut that guy down. So we'll hit. <laughs> Don't do that. I have to click everything back up. Uh, in a fast Ethan at 0 slash 0 and do a shutdown. Now when I do that, over here on the left hand side, look at this. Bing. Shoom. Query packet. So essentially, router one's receiving a query uh, for that 192.168.0.0. It's going, wait a sec, no, 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 I don't have that. Uh, it's not in my routing table. Uh, and over on this side, I have a debug turned on, and it says, okay, I'm processing the reply. So small network, it happened pretty quick, right? We've got the query. It says, I don't have that route. Reply comes back. Okay. So what happens when we update it as a stub? I'm going to come over here to the router one, and I'm telling you, I always get this back. This is where I actually tell it it's the stub, and that reports back over here, letting it know. So I'm going to go to router one, router EIGRP 100, EIGRP stub. Now, notice all the options right here. We have connected, receive only, redistributed. I'll just hit the enter because the default is that connected uh, and uh, connected. Uh, summary. So uh, watch this. I'll do a show run section router EIGRP and you can see that it actually tacked on there connected and summary saying I'm only going to advertise connected interfaces and summary routes. Now watch what happens. I'm going to come over to router one or actually I should say the headquarter router. I should have powered this back on. Let's do a no shut. So life is good. We've received uh, the network again. I can see oh I got an update. I'm adding that to my uh, routing table. Now watch what happens when I shut it down. I'll do a shutdown and I'm expecting that router one will not receive the query message because it recognizes that as, as a stub. Notice update, update. No query message is actually sent. I'm going to do a show IP EIGRP uh, neighbor. Let's do detail. You can see right there. This guy's coming in saying he is a stub peer saying I only can advertise connected and summary routes and suppressing queries over to that neighbor. You now know about an EIGRP stub, both from a conceptual and configuration level. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.